Hey there, good morning and welcome to Friday. You know what that means, right? Yep, you guessed it. It's Friday. It's also Jessica Jones Day if you have Netflix and you enjoy Marvel. Uh, another addition to the Marvel Universe. I am very much looking forward to it. I will definitely be starting my binge at some point this weekend, I think. Be ashamed. Also, I have a diagnosis about that little red thing on my nose. It was actually a giant zit. So, take care of Not a problem. In case you were wondering, it is possible to fall asleep in the shower standing up. I know. I did it this morning. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Well, at least I didn't fall asleep driving to work. Hi. I made it to work, so you don't have to worry about me. I didn't fall asleep. I still feel like I'm going to fall asleep, though. But I won't. I got work to do. Not a lot. Well, probably. If I did everything that needed to be done, I would have a lot of work to do. But I'm probably not going to do everything that needs to be done. I'm just going to do... What I feel like doing. So there. Take that. Somebody's coming. Shh. Somebody's coming. Okay. I'm getting a delivery this morning. Which I get regularly. But this guy, for some reason, he likes to park way out there. Like, why is he parked way over there? Why isn't he parked here in front of the door? This guy always does that. And it confuses me every single time. Nice guy, though. New David Bowie track, Black Star. Awesome. It's like 9 minutes and 59 seconds or something like that. Almost 10 minutes. Crazy long crazy visuals in the video do yourself a favor go watch it david bowie black star the new album drops on his birthday which i believe is in january and i am so looking forward to it awesome guy after all these years is still at the top of his game everybody wishes they could be david bowie heck i do Oh, surprise, surprise, another shot of my head sitting at my desk. Thrilling. Oh, sorry. It's a coffee burp. I just finished it. I've been drinking it for the last four and a half hours. Good thing it was cold to start with. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. It's like 12.30, well, 12.34, I finished orders for the day, so that means, means nothing. I don't get to leave work yet. Uh, good news, Marshmallow is available for my phone now, or when it decides to download it. Yeah, if you have an iPhone, you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you have an Android and you're sort of on top of things, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you just have whatever phone and you don't care, well, you have no idea. I've just been waiting for it for a month, that's all. I want to photograph David Bowie. Seriously, that would be, I think, my absolute dream photo shoot. Photographing David Bowie. Okay, I'm just checking out the McRib locator online right now. These are all the sightings. Tons over here in the middle of the country and on the east coast. But not much over here. I've been watching this for months now. Looks like they have them in New Mexico. And they have confirmed sightings in Las Vegas. Also in Idaho. And a couple of unconfirmed sightings here in Arizona. 
So I tend to think that's a no. There are not any here in Arizona. And this is the latest that it's ever been without a McRib. So I don't know what's going on. Like they did say restaurants could choose this year whether they wanted to have them or not. And only like half the restaurants were going to have them or something like that. But still thousands of them were going to have McRibs. I can't see that the whole state of Arizona decided not to have McRibs. That's just crazy talk. Like seriously. I have gone many days where I have eaten four McRibs in a day. For breakfast, or not breakfast, lunch. Uh, well, if they had them for breakfast, I'd eat them for breakfast. But lunch and dinner. You get the two McRib meal. Why would you get a McRib meal without adding the second McRib for a dollar? That's just crazy. So yeah, I need McRibs. I really do. Like honestly, I feel better after I've eaten a McRib. True. It's a true story. I'm not faking this. I'm not lying. I don't know what it is. They put something in it. Maybe it's just drugs. Good news. I get to go home now. So I'm gonna pack up all my crap that I have all exploded all over the desk at work. And I'm gonna go home. Because later tonight we're going to Ignite Phoenix After Hours. This sucker right here. Which are presentations where people talk for five minutes and then there's slides and something that they know about or are passionate about. And, uh, after Hours is uh, a little more racier adult presentations. All right, so it's like, I don't know, an hour and a bit, or more than an hour, I know that much, since I said I was going home, and now I finally am. It was just, I don't know, a chore wrapping things up and getting out the door, and then I had to drop stuff off at the post office, and I had to stop for some gas. Now I'm finally on my way home get to look at these beautiful mountains that I have just recently, in the scheme of things, uh, come to love, or love again. Um, I don't know, I've got a renewed sense of wonder. Guess what? Puppies are glad to see me. And I was glad to see them, so. At least there's that. It's kind of nice out today. I'm not minding it at all. Although, I really wish I could have a nap, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, say goodbye to the battery. Bye bye, battery. See you later. I'll put you on to charge. Yay, another battery. Uh, I'm just gonna take some garbage out now. Would you like to come with me? I could take you out in the alley and show you the disgusting garbage can. Would you like that? I don't think you would. So I won't do it. I'll just go do it on my own. These puppies are crazy. They're going crazy over this door again. Look. Watch. Uh oh. Door. Weirdos. You know what is really damn frustrating? Insurance, like health insurance, blows. Like, I mean, I'd rather have it, but it'd be nice if it would cover some things. Like, I know I'm good if I have anything major happen, like an, an accident or I need some surgery or I'm like really ill with something. I know I'm covered that way. But when it comes to taking care of myself, and making sure I don't go blind, um, it kind of sucks because optometrists and ophthalmologists are not cheap. The procedures are not cheap. The office visits are not cheap. Just fighting with them to give me prescription refills for drops that I need to not go blind 
I haven't needed any real procedures or anything, but every time I go in, they want to take pictures of the back of my eye, they want to check field of view, they want to do all these things that never change, never do anything, and yet I have to have these procedures done if they're going to give me prescriptions. And I've been taking the same prescriptions for like 12 years now. Nothing has changed. But yet, I have to keep paying for these. And for years, I was paying for them out of pocket because I didn't have insurance. Then I got insurance, and the insurance companies don't cover it because they don't cover specialists, or they don't cover office visits, or they don't cover certain procedures. And I end up paying more now with insurance than I did without insurance. Because without insurance, I could say, I don't have insurance, and then they would charge me a certain rate. Now, I give them my insurance, it's not covered, so I end up paying more. It makes absolutely no sense to me. And I've been battling with some charges uh, with my ophthalmologist for months now, all the way back to November of last year. So like a whole year, November and December, and they screwed some stuff up and they didn't submit it to my insurance and all this rig and roll and they finally submitted it. I just got the stuff back from insurance, not covered. If this had got come up months ago, it would have been fine. Like, I mean, I still don't want to pay it. I wouldn't want to pay it then, but we're talking Christmas now. It's just not convenient at all. Okay, end rant before the three minute mark. Welcome to Scottsdale. This is where all the trendy bars are. This whole street is just filled with them. Well, that's interesting. So we're out for Night Phoenix After Hours. Hopefully it'll be a good show. Hopefully there'll be some interesting presentations. And hopefully it's not too hot in there. So I won't like that. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think there is a single bar or club down here that I would be comfortable going to. Just not my vibe. Finally, we're here. I have a feeling it's gonna be packed. Shoulder to shoulder, sweaty body to sweaty body. Last time, there was this really bitchy woman here that insisted on sitting on top of the chairs so we couldn't see. It wasn't fun. Hopefully she's not here this time. Well, that's it. Ignite Phoenix After Hours is a wrap. Some of them were, some of the presentations were groaners. Some were hilarious. Some were uncomfortable. But it's all good. And now it's time to go home. Couldn't really film in there at all because some of the topics are of a sensitive nature and people don't want that getting out there, which is totally understandable. Well, we made it home safe and sound. Picked up a little bit of food on the way home. Ate it already. Or at least I ate mine. Vanessa's already in bed. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to bed anytime soon. Just not feeling like doing that. Just, to be honest, didn't really have a very good night. Don't really feel like going into detail about it. Just, yeah, I had a couple of laughs earlier, but just 
not one of those kind of nights you want to remember. So I'll just wrap it up there. Everything will be fine. Eventually. Peace. And love. Lots and lots and lots of love. I'll catch you tomorrow.